Spice of Thought to you guys on the social media. You guys want to tell us more about it. Well, I don't think I have any much. I think it's his social media. <laughs> yeah, I think we, we weren't trying to create a path. What happened? Well, like everyone else, we were on Facebook and someone discovered a, a video that was of me and uh, people linked the two. So then you just decided to catch on it's no, it's like everyone having Facebook and everyone having Twitter and stuff. So it was a trend. It's basically now a trend because now you're putting up more videos. I think it's not a trend, now it's a business. Yeah. You know, instead of like, because everyone wants to see more and stuff, so you want to give them a platform where they can showcase their skill. Because for us, it wasn't about like showcasing Musa's talent. It was about that Musa is like, even with me, we, we're in arts, we're both involved in arts, and we're trying to get that basis for everyone that's in the townships, because everyone in the townships usually don't have a platform to showcase their talent and the content that's all about South African. So we started a company called Spaza TV, Spaza TV per se, it's not on TV, it's an internet-based channel that is all about South African content, we showcase everything that's about South Africans and their history and their present and future where we are celebrating the cultures that are all around us and the South African partying culture that's coming out right now. Where you have this Kotane and you have dancers. That's why I think most is part of now um, this, like the phenomenal of the internet life where you can access everything on the internet. So when you Google South Africans or South Africa or something like that, we're trying to have a content that someone from America or because we have friends that stay like overseas mm. everywhere that's like when they miss home you want to see something from home oh, so okay. that's why we also started the basis that when you uh, you are far away from home you still can be in touch with home with the staff and entertainment and events and talents that's but, going on in the country but I think also the creative arts and the creative industries need to come up with their own ways of making and getting their art out there and trying to make some form of a living out of their art um, and of the first one is to have quality content that is out there for marketing i mean the national development plan speaks of the same issue how do the creative industry which is already a multi-billion land industry um, apart from the mainstream get themselves to that level where they're competing it starts with the best local shows and then go global but it can't be done if you're not showing it so you in a typical project you've got cameramen you'd have your stylist you'd have your models your actors your in our instance the dancers you have an editor post edit work and of course um any graphics and so on that have to be done so how many of artists have worked on a simple um, four minute video for example and that's that's the i mean obviously the others want to do 20 minute movies which are done the nigerian way do them improv do the work get it done let them critique it rather so that's the platform I don't think there must be any. I'll tell you, I'm saying South African everything. I'm saying there's South African politics, South African arts. Like in our house, we always talk about like, cause me, he's more into politics and I'm more into art. I'm an art student. He's a politician student. So it's, it's basically the same thing, but in a different way that it's told. So we used to like we usually share things in a different way that you tell them. You tell them in a different way, and I tell them in a different way. So everything so then tells the story. You just yeah, like, yes. uh, images to it. But really, I not really. Like even the way because I the do same prehistoric Rock history, arts. South Africa. So we I also talk about like how we got to where we are, but in a different way through art. And he does it through politics because he also he's passionate about politics, but he's not a politician per se. Because he's more like an advocate, you know. He's more passionate about being, about being like a South African where everyone doesn't have time to be like complaining about being a South African and that we don't have this and that. And that we live in a country where there's possibilities. 
you know, and that all of us have to make a way to make it work. Not everyone is like entitled to something or someone is entitled to do something for you. We've got 20 years of democracy that's been such a long story. We've achieved so much and celebrating so little. So I think that's our first problem. Um, we can't have confidence if we don't great artists. I think I heard the other day that Huma Segela works almost about Huma Segela works pretty much all year round. That's an artist to look up to. He works seven days a week. He's got a show, he's booked. But you don't speak about him in that light. You always see him as the jazz man. But as an artist, he's always got to work. And that's the essence of changing the conversation. It was a rare event. It was like a small gathering of people that knew each other. Well, I didn't know him, and I didn't want to get to know him. Mm. <laughs> it's just like any boy and girl story, you know. Girl doesn't want to really want to be boy, and boy meets girl, and then you charm a girl. Yeah. It's like any short story. It's a short story. I mean, it's like you don't know a person, but then you get to know a person, and then get together because first of all we're like really friends before anything else which should be the basis for our relationship that we're friends and then we can get to understand each other from a different perspective you know Some of them. <laughs> yeah there's not there's no secret to it you know what I'm saying? like it's not like it's special and all of that just like any simple relationship, you know, if you click with someone, you're going to click with someone. When I stick with someone, you stick with someone. It's going to have fun. We have fun together, so that's why it's always like, easy to be like, together. And is it what inspires your fashion sense? For everything. Like I have my garden, he inspires my fashion sense. Everything. Um, I love fashion, like every girl. You know, you like pretty stuff, you want to be... It's reading, and it's also what makes me comfortable. I like being comfortable. So if I'm comfortable, then it's an easy way to have.